Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires so, so St. Julian's Table is officially a mission of St. James Anglican Bozeger. Um, and, uh, and I am the pastor here holding not Anglican, but Mennonite credentials because I was ordained by MCM just this, this past summer, which is, felt like a kind of homecoming for me in a lot of ways. Um, and it's, uh, it's kind of a mixed bag of Christians. We consider it an ecumenical gathering, so you're not, you're not expected to leave behind the, the traditions, the loyalties that you have in the church you grew up in if you're joining this bunch. Um, and uh, we're a pretty small group. There's maybe, maybe a dozen or so of us in the sanctuary on a Sunday morning, and then another, another handful of screens on Zoom. Um, we happened to have our very first gathering, the very first Sunday that other churches were shutting their doors, and so we just we started out as just Zoom. Um, and one outcome of that is that there's some people that live kind of far away from here that became part of things early on and are still part of us. Uh, our, our namesake is, uh, is this lady here, uh, Jillian of Norwich, um, who was a... Uh, a medieval mystic uh, in England, um, and uh, actually uh, became sort of active in her ministry during a time of plague, so not, <laughs> not irrelevant to our times. My name is Ruby Rayski Naraki. Um, I come to St. Julian's with my grandson Isaac, and uh, what I love about St. Julian's is the way it, it has this circle and it does the smudging and it does the acknowledgement of treaty land and it does social justice issues and, and you can bring your own personal prayers and it's open, it's non-judgmental, uh, it's warm, it's accepting, it's all those good things and it came along just at the right time in my life when I was just about going to give up on the church. I was looking for a church that acknowledges treaty land, and I couldn't find one, and locally. In fact, in one church, it was almost like dirty words. So, um, so I was getting really, really low about that. And then I came across St. Julian's, and everything just came into place, and it's perfect. And, uh, and the sense of a table, uh, the sense that, the, that a, some kind of love feast uh, is, is part of, is kind of a central Christian event not so much the words of the preacher. Um, and, uh, and so we have, we have either a potluck or, or communion every, every other time that we meet. We meet bi-weekly. We don't meet every Sunday. Um, we're a small bunch, and I'm, I'm doing this kind of on a volunteer basis, so that's kind of what I can manage. Christ our Lord.